There are a few spots in Kona more iconic than Lava Java. Coffee shop, restaurant, right on the beach, right by the start finish. We're gonna go to Lava Java today and we're gonna meet up with Tony Kanan. You may recognize Tony Kanan's name from being an Indy car driver that's won the Indy 500. Indianapolis local, long time zip rider. We're gonna go find Tony. He's racing Iron Man and figure out what makes him faster. So make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Here's the man, the myth, the legend, Tony. What's <laughs> How up? How are you? Living the dream, and uh, you know, uh, after almost three years, we're back in Kona. Um, I was supposed to do this race three years ago. Yeah. Um, since then, I got really busy. I was retiring, and I didn't retire, so got to be back. Obviously, uh, goes without saying, we have the fastest wheels and the fast bike in the world. We just need the legs. So, oh, yeah. uh, and speaking of retiring, didn't you get third? Place at the Indy 500. Yeah, we did. That was a pretty did good, pretty good year, retirement, yeah. right? So that, that, that's that. What happened is, you do that well. So now I gotta come back next yeah, year yeah. and try one more time. And who are we with? I see a lot of the same so we have here. Uh, who are we with? The right Brazilian now? gang with uh, you know Santiago is uh, our trainer, but he has 17 athletes here that qualify for Kona. He's an awesome. He's a Zip athlete as well. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, he represents Zip in Brazil, and um, we're gonna go out for a ride with with the group. Just really. Uh, Last minute. Uh, shake the legs out. Shake the legs. But we're gonna go. So we're gonna go ride on the race course, right? Yes, sir. What is it? What is it called? We're gonna go to the Queen K. The Queen K. Uh, we're gonna go. Probably today's a short ride. We're gonna go to the airport and back. But uh, yeah, basically we're gonna go 20 miles out towards uh, where we need the the race is. Yeah. And, uh, just do a little recap. Amazing. Well, let's do it too, man. Let's yeah, to ride with you. So the transitions are the important part, and uh, the transitions back. You come out of the water. We're gonna go left. And you transition to the bike. To the bike right at the like right in downtown Kona, right? Like right on the water. Right. The, all the transitions are downtown. Do you have to do any of this climbing? Is there a lot of climbing in this? Yeah, this is the course to get Whoa. to the Queen K. And then you go up Javi, which is a big climb. I always thought it was pan flat, so you're saying you actually have to no, it's there's not climbing flat. Oh, you see it. Will it's you ever flat. put it in the little ring? Yeah. How many uh, Ironmans have you done? How many times have you been out here? One. Uh, I've been to Kona for 15 years in a row. I did this race in 2011. Uh, I've never had done an Ironman before, and I haven't done another one since. <laughs> A lot of 70.3s, but um, you know, this is the race to do it. And why? So, from a race car driver, why do you pick triathlons? Like, what what brings you to do this? All three well, apart disciplines. Apart from getting fit for the car. I'm training my mind. It, yeah. This is a race of your mind. 100%. You have to be strong to be able to overcome every single obstacle that your mind, you know, it's it's a mind game. Oh yeah. And and a race, you go to an Indy 500 race, it's a three hour race, it's the same thing. It's a mind but game. But when you do a 15 hour race here, a three hour race becomes nothing. <laughs> All right, so here we are off Queens K on the race course. We're gonna stop and do a quick bike check with Tony Kanan. Walk me through what you got going on here. What is this? Well, it's a track speed concept. Uh, one of the fastest bikes on the field. And of course we have the fastest wheels. I chose the 858 for the rear and the 454. So why would you choose a staggered, bigger rear, smaller front? What's the what's the reason? Well, aerodynamically, that? it would be ideal to to have both 858s. Mm -hmm. But because of the crosswinds going down Javi, it's going to make the bike extremely unstable. So I went as big as you can in the rear. You cannot use a disc here in Kona, mm -hmm. and then midway. I so mean, this is like it. the most aerodynamically efficient wheel in the back, and then the front is still very aerodynamic. The 454 is still an incredibly fast But then wheel. it makes the bike stable. So. It makes the bike stable, because when you're in the aero bars doing 50 miles an hour. And you get a crosswind, you don't, you don't want to get blown away. Okay, so you have nerves of steel from racing cars. What is it like going that fast, being in the aero bars? Like, is there, is there a comparison between racing like you race it's in the cars and this? It's a lot more dangerous than this. I mean, I have a lot of carbon fiber around me in the car. But, um, you know, the similarities are unbelievable. Uh, if you talk about tubeless tires, mm -hmm. I mean, Indy cars, we don't have tubes. Uh, Same thing. For many reasons, right? Uh, obviously, um, here, um, it's weight, and the race car is weight. Um, you know, the tire pressures, you can, you can run, because of the wider rims that we have here, yeah. you can run a little bit of lower pressure, which makes the ride a little easier and for you. And do you do that with the Indy car too? Do you do it, did tire uh, you pressure play, change? You play with tire pressures all the time, and actually we bleed the tires every time we come into the pit. Really? So basically for here, um, I already know 
monitor, monitoring the tire pressures, what what they are when it's hot. So t tomorrow for the race, uh -huh. in the morning, I'm gonna set five PSI lower than my target. What? And then as you start running, the tires get hit the heat with, you know, the contact with the asphalt, they will raise the tire pressures. That's great. And this is almost like when you're racing with the race cars. That's what happens It heats up the tire, You, you, you the call rubber. a target. So you're gonna go pressure. five PSI lower. Because you know that like 20 minutes into the race, you're going to be at optimum Correct. PSI. You will start the first 10 miles probably a little lower, but it makes, you know, as com not that as, is not dangerous. That is mind blowing. But. So you're quote unquote retired, even though you got third place in the Indy 500. But what's up with Brazilian NASCAR, man? That sounds like the next journey. What is, what is good with that? That sounds so rad. I mean, it's a different series for me. I've been doing this for the last two years in front of my crowd, a car that I've never driven not an open wheel but a big challenge the series is huge down there I felt like after 25 years in IndyCar I wanted to try something different so I was up for the challenge sick and that I think the mark of a true athlete and a true competitor is always pushing yourself always trying to do something different always trying to make it a little something better and something new right you have to have a motive to wake up in the morning all right here we are with Tony Kanan he's getting ready for the Ironman World Championship Tony thanks for riding with us I appreciate it Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Till next time, this is Chaz, Tony Kanan, making you faster. Aloha.